I thought, well, that's kind of silly. Mine's going to be exactly the same as hers. Diane Marie Kubis didn't think much of taking an Ancestry DNA test after her sister had already taken one, but she sent it off anyway. A few weeks later, she heard back. The first thing I noticed was it showed a 99% direct match to a mother-daughter relationship from a Diana Marie. A flood of memories came rushing back to the time when she was 17 and pregnant. Her Catholic parents made her give up her baby. After decades of being told the Catholic records couldn't be unsealed, a simple blood test brought them together. Last Monday, she sent an email to the Ancestry account. Diana, this will come as a shock to you, as it did me when I had my DNA completed recently. You are my birth daughter, who I had to give up for adoption April 22, 1967. I have missed you every day of my life all these years. The message back, Dear Diane, if you are in fact my birth mother, then I can tell you that I have been searching for you for 27 years when I became pregnant with your first granddaughter. Since then, more emails, more pictures of Diana and her daughters who are grown up now. Diane then had to tell her adoptive daughter, Aretha, something she'd never told anyone. It was a very powerful moment, and, you know, I cried, and she was crying, and it was very emotional. And serendipitous. Diana currently lives in Hawaii, but is moving to Seattle. Her flight comes in tomorrow, Mother's Day, and both Aretha and Diane will be there. But I just think it's wonderful that I'm able to find her after all these years. Talk about a Mother's Day. Now, the news of her moving is a bit bittersweet. Diana needs medical treatment for a life-threatening disease, and she'll be undergoing several operations in Seattle. We, of course, will continue to follow their story.